What's up, YouTube? Poppin' Community, still and real here. Coming back at you with another video. Uh, several weeks ago, I had mentioned that I was going to show you guys the corn cob poker that I made. Now, just to give you a little bit of backstory on this, several months ago, I was on YouTube surfing around, and I came across the Dagner's video about their West Coast Tour wrap-up, or something along those lines. And in that video, I saw Jason smoking this really cool-looking cob poker which was pretty much this one, all right? I think he was smoking the prototype, but it became this. So I had an idea. Let me message him and ask him about that pipe. So I sent him a message on his website and his YouTube channel inquiring about this, this pipe, the corn cob poker that I saw. And then I think I said something along the lines of, of like, hey, Jason, a uh, really cool looking pipe that I saw. It was a corn cob poker, it appears to be. Uh, did you make that yourself or did you purchase that somewhere? I didn't hear a word. Weeks goes by, nothing, didn't get any return message from, from Jason. And I guess he was just busy. Or maybe he just wanted to keep it under wraps until he actually, you know, until they released their version of the corn cob poker. Regardless, I didn't hear anything and I kind of got tired of waiting. So I said, okay, it doesn't look that hard. I think I'll make my own. So I contacted uh, Scott at Aristocop and I ended up buying a General, okay? And they're a pretty big pipe. I got a General straight, not a bend, just a straight. And I thought, I think I can do something with this. So I'm gonna show you right now what I did. That is not what I did. But that's pretty cool, huh? That's a good looking pipe, no doubt about it. Jason, you did a good job in designing this. Really good looking, good piece, man. So what I did was this. That. That's my version of the corn cob poker. It's a little bit bigger than uh, the Dagner design one. And, it, and let's face it, it doesn't look as cool with the, without the rustication. But what I did was I took the general corn cob and I cut down about a quarter of an inch off the top of the bowl. I chamfered the bottom, and you can see the plug there that these corn cobs come with. I yanked the factory stem out of it because I didn't like it, it was just a real skinny thing. I turned down this piece of maple, right, to about five eighths of an inch or so. Bored the hole out into the bowl, chamfered the end of this, like most of the um, stems or shanks that are in these bowls are chamfered it and jammed it in there, was a nice snug fit, took it back out, put some Elmer's glue around there, stubbed it back in there, and man, it was a nice solid fit. Then I went to making my acrylic stem. I wanted to get something uh, that would kind of match the, the tones of the pipe itself and the bowl. But what I did was I got this uh, acrylic stem, or acrylic uh, bar actually, and turned it down. And, uh, you know, once I got the uh, the tenon turned down and shaped it, this is what I came up with. It's not perfect. My tools are limited, but um, regardless, it smokes really good. I just got through burning a bowl of Custard's Last Stand, which that's a really great great blend if uh, you guys are into aromatics. But <clears throat> you'll see. I'll put the two together, and you'll see. Just um, let me back up a little bit so you can see there. You can see. The bowl of mine is just a little bit taller, right? Not by much, just a smidge than uh, the Dagners. And as far as the size of them, let's shape them up again here. Get them turned around. And you'll see again, there. You can see that uh, the Dagners is, um, a little bit smaller as far as the roundness. Not much. It's, it's really not that much of a difference. You can see there that um, the one that I made is just a little bit longer than the Dagner one. Not by much. Maybe a quarter of an inch, half an inch, or somewhere around in there. But regardless, these are the two cobs there. You can really see the difference in the, in the, the height of the bowl. Now, the reason I cut this down from what it was, I think it was like two and a quarter or two and a half inches tall. I cut it down because it just proportionally, it didn't look good. And um, so I just had to shorten it just a little bit. It's still like a two inch deep bowl. And, and, um, 
but it I just feel it looked better this way cutting it down but here it is guys this is my version of the corn cob poker I really enjoy corn cob pipes I think they get uh, I think they get a lot of flack maybe from the cob snob crowd out there but they really are good smokers and you can't beat them I mean you spend 10 15 dollars for a, a pipe that's going to smoke like a champ and smoke it for a few years and if you burn it out you spend 10 more dollars there is nothing wrong with having a nice uh, collector pipe two three hundred dollar pipe um, to me that's getting a little extravagant spending three and four hundred dollars for a piece of wood to smoke uh, tobacco in but hey man there's some works of art out there I get it it's it's cool stuff but this one here the general itself was like ten dollars from Aristocob the acrylic stem basically a pin makers you can go to like a pin makers uh, website and get acrylic bars and then if you have uh, access to a lathe you just start turning it down it's that simple and um, all kinds of different colors and swirls that you can get with these acrylic uh, type of stems but I had fun making this thing and I got a friend of mine Bazooka Joe he wants me to make one for him because he's like bro you got to make me one of those corn cob pokers I really like that thing and um, so when I get time I'll get around to it but regardless there it is gang this is the corn cob poker that I made and uh, granted the stems not nowhere near as nice as this nice little stem on Dagner's and I wanted to have a, um, a, a brass ring or something to go on there but I'm impatient I didn't want to wait around for one to be shipped in nor did I want to make one so I just stuck the stem in there and started smoking <laughs> let me take this stem out of there it's a tight fit oh yeah okay I'm back had to use uh, two hands there this this uh, stem was in there <clears throat> but I turned it down to fit right in that shank and uh, man it's a tight fit so but yeah you can see there how I chamfered uh, the air hole there just a little bit that's a big air hole um, but regardless this thing does smoke really really well so but there it is guys Hope you like it if you're interested in uh, making one of those uh, shoot me a message i'll tell you how it's, it's really simple to make one uh, i know that jason dagner did a video uh, maybe a week or two ago doing some corn cob modifications and um, so you guys should check that out it's cool stuff i have a couple of pipes that i'm making uh, don't know how long it's going to take me it's probably going to take a while but uh, once I got a nice little poker another poker that I'm making and uh, probably going to try to make a series that's a little bit of a hint for you there uh, in a line of these pipes uh, that I want to get made but and then there's another uh, nice little bent slightly bent I don't know if I want to call it an egg or a billiard or a brandy I'm not sure what I want to call it but it's probably going to be sometime down the road but until then, hope you guys enjoy this little cob poker. Hope you enjoy this little cob poker. And uh, until the next time, keep it puffing.